Hello, welcome to My Shift Manager. This is the new scheduling system from the makers of My Shift Planner. My Shift Manager is designed for shift managers, shift schedulers, anyone who is running a team of shift workers. I'm going to talk you through some of the basics of setting the system up and running it. We'll start by having a look at the tabs on the side for navigation. There's a dashboard, a scheduler, people, which is your workforce, a reporting tab, and then more where most other things are kept. We'll start by looking at the more tab. In here, you've got information about your account so that you can change your um, password and so on. And there's options to be able to change various settings within the app to customize it. The defaults here are all around the shifts that you work managing roles and the teams. We'll look at those again in a minute. Let's start by adding people into the planner. The people tab is essentially your workforce. You can add more people quickly by tapping on the button in the top right and fill in their details. Each person has their own card which you can edit just by clicking on it. We can duplicate as well using the icons over on the right there. Let's have a look at Felix's um, employment card here. We've got his first name and last name, an employee number, which you can add if you wish. The work email is the most important one, though. It's the work email that will be used to contact Felix about his shifts when they've changed. The work email becomes Felix's login to the MyShift Planner, MyShift Manager system, so that he can actually access my shift manager and see the shift he's working. You can set a permission for what he can see and what he can edit in set permissions. There's some groups, either worker or manager, which basically gives him access to anything. But you can also individually allow him to see um, maybe the full list of people or even to be able to view reports. Let's leave it as is for now. Of course, MyShift Manager connects to the MyShift Planner app, and this is done here. If your workers already have MyShift Planner and have an account set up, just use their email, their email account, and MyShift Manager will link the two together so that they will receive uh, their work calendars direct to their existing app. If they're not using it or want to keep their account separate, they will just simply use the login account details here to and the and the password to log into my shift planner as soon as you create a new person and in the team um, they will be sent an email with all of these details and you can change it anytime if somebody doesn't want to be part uh, using my shift planner and only wants it in an email turn this off and they'll only get an email about their shifts along with an excel spreadsheet so that they can print out this is done in the more tab you can manage all the shift types here. Click on Manage Shifts. Now, My Shift Manager comes with a range of built-in shifts, but you can add your own. I've already added a couple, middle shift and a later shift. It's very easy to create shifts, either add a shift or a leave type, and fill in the details. If you're adding a shift, you'll notice there's options to add paid breaks, to change the colour, and also to give that shift a role. Roles um, are something you can set up to say only certain types of people can work certain types of shifts. We won't do that right now. That will cancel that shift type. Once you've created the shifts you work, now you can start adding them to the scheduler. Click on the scheduler tab in the top left there and you can see the calendar. It's set up pretty simply, dates along the top, um, people down the left hand side, and you can change how many weeks you want to see at once. Let's shift to four weeks for now so that we can see everything that's happening. There's options to view and a default view where you can see all the information or the compact view. Personally, I quite like the compact view for when you're looking at long periods. It gives you an easy view of exactly what's happening. The other option is to view by shift times instead of shift names 
all to view by teams. As you can see, I've set up some teams here. There's a blue, green, red and a yellow team. Most shift workers who are working rotating patterns are split into teams and each team working different rotations. You can set up teams in the More tab by clicking on Manage Teams. Here you can add more members to a team or move the teams around as well as creating new teams. Here we are on this week and we can see that Felix doesn't appear to be working. We can add some shifts in that we know he should be working by tapping on the cell for each day, clicking new shift and then picking from the list of shifts we've created. That's the easy way to do it. Maybe make some changes and give him some unpaid breaks. Instructions there are all around um, special instructions that will appear on that shift when it appears in Felix's calendar. So if we tell him to pick up the keys, when that goes to his My Shift Planner account, he'll have a note telling him what to do. It's also very quick to add shifts using the plus button, which brings out the shift picker. Users of My Shift Planner will be used to this feature. We can click on days or earlies and quickly drop shifts onto the calendar, as well as quickly removing them when we need to. Let's just take those two out. As you can see, you can add annual leave or even give somebody um, a day off sick should they need it. One of the extra features that we've added in My Shift Manager is the ability to add shifts directly to a team of people. If you view by team, you'll just collapse that down. You add a shift to the red team here. Let's give them all a night shift to work. Also, you can see it's immediately assigned to all the people in the red team. Expand that down here and you can see everyone's working the night shift. That's a quick way of adding shifts to an entire group of workers at once. One of the best features about My Shift Planner is the ability to quickly create rotors. Um, we've come up with a neat solution for doing this in My Shift Manager. Let's um, view by four weeks and make sure we're in a compact view. As you can see, the red team here are not working very much at all, and neither of the yellow team. So what we'll do is we're going to put in a four on four off rotor for the red team. And I'll show you how we do that very quickly. Let's start by saying four days on, four days off, and then four nights. Now, I don't have to then go through the entire calendar dropping days and nights on. What I can do is use a, cl a clever little device called Range Select. If I click right click on the first day and then click Range Select and right click on the last day of that group, including the off days, you'll see at the bottom there's an option to repeat forwards. I mean, I can cut and copy and assign that to different people and remove it. But the repeat forward function allows you to create rotors really quickly. Let's press that now and I think we'll take that through to the end of July. And hey presto, if I look forward now, the red team are working four on four off right through to the end of July. It's a really quick way of creating a rotor for the team. You'll see at the top of the list is a line called Open Shifts. Let's come into a two-week view so we can see things a little bit better. Open Shifts are where there is a shift that's required to be filled and it might be that somebody's off for the day. So if on the green team, let's say um, Rennie Mathis is having some time off, we can right click on that shift and unassign Rennie, in which case the shift appears as now as an open shift that needs filling by somebody. You can also double click on the shift 
and remove somebody like that. Save it and suddenly we've got two night shifts appearing in the open shift. Let's edit that and add somebody back in. Put Chris back into that one. Don't give him any time off. But the other one that's still up there, you see it says one, needs to be assigned to someone else. Right click, click assign, let's give it to me. Let's put something on Sunday the 7th. We'll say that there's an early shift that we know will need to be filled. That'll sit there in open shifts and we'll be reminded about it if we look in dashboards where we look at open shifts coming up in the next few weeks. We've got one right here. That helps us to remember that this needs filling and we can find somebody for it. Some shift managers I know like to create ranges of open shifts first and then slowly fill them with people once they're available. The system allows you to work in that way as well. Of course it's important to get those shifts to your workers. This is done by tapping publish so you can edit anything in the calendar here and it won't go out to the workers until you click publish. As you can see the shifts we've added are still hatched. If we click publish it will then publish the changes to the workers straight away. Once shifts have been published they have changed colour, they're no longer hatched and you can tell that there's nothing else that requires to be done. Workers get their shifts in two ways. They'll get an email telling them what's changed and what shifts they're working but they also receive it in the MyShift Planner app. I'm running a version of MyShift Planner here and you can see this is Felix. He's logged in and he's received his shifts for today, including, if you remember, the instruction to pick up the keys. We can make any changes to Felix's shift rotor by adding or changing um, his um, line here. Let's just change and remove the early shift. We'll delete that for now. Yep, we'll delete it and remove it completely. Now if I publish the change and publish that out to Felix, it should go and then I click that a manager has made changes to your work roster so although this is working off the desktop the worker will receive an in-app notification to remind them that something has changed when they look at it there we are the early shift has disappeared that's how you keep your staff and your team informed of any changes and anything they need to do with my shift manager that's the basics of setting up and using MyShift Manager with your team. If you have further questions, there is a help tab at the bottom which links through to the website with a range of support and tutorial material. You can also get in touch with us directly by clicking on the feedback button. We really do want your feedback. MyShift Manager is still in development. We're still working on new aspects. We're bringing more into the reporting tab soon. At the moment, it just records the number of hours each person works, which can then be exported as a Excel spreadsheet. But these will be improving as we move forward. So we're very keen to get your input and your advice on what you want to see in My Shift Manager. If you have any questions, contact us via the feedback form or at support at myshiftmanager.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.